boy falsely accused of stealing class money. His classmates bullied him. The teacher next to him didn't believe him either, even if he dragged his shoes to prove it. It didn't work. The boy hid in the restroom. A fat girl comforts him at the door. This fat girl was isolated by her classmates, but the boy got angry and kicked her out. The boy finds the bully's secret base. He confronts the bully. He gets beaten up by the bully, but the boy recorded it. The boy showed it to the teacher, but the teacher still didn't believe him. She asked him why the bully only bullied him and asked him to improve his relationship with the bully. The boy had to go to the nursing home with the bullies, but the bullies bully the old people in the nursing home. They tied them to chairs and spun them around. They play games with them. They draw pictures on their faces. The boy didn't want to bully the old man, but then the boys had fun. Two, they found a chest under an old man's bed. At night they came together to steal it, but they saw two horrible monsters. The monsters came crawling towards them. They had to run away with the box. One of the monsters was hit by a car. They thought it was dead. The monsters suddenly jumped up and tried to bite the boys. The school bully knocked it out with a shovel. They took the monster back to the secret base. The little monster's sister couldn't find her. All she could do was hide and cry. The little monster woke up in the school bully's secret base. She stood up strangely and slowly turned her head and buddy. The boys could only hide and scream. The monster slowly backed away, but it stepped on the sunlight. She was afraid of the sun. The monster climbed up the wall. The boys used mirrors to reflect the sunlight. The monster hid in fear, but the boys were so excited. They tied the monster up. They pulled out the monster's teeth with iron pliers. They sealed the monster's mouth with a piece of iron. One day the bully injured a classmate. The teacher was teaching the bully in the office. The female teacher slapped the bully, but the bully stuck his tongue out at the teacher. The teacher was very angry. She can continued to slap the bully. The bully was still smiling. The teacher was completely enraged. And the bully got angry too. The teacher yells at the bully for being a loser. The bully yells at the teacher. But the teacher calmed down. She told the others that the bully's mother was a whore. That's why he has no manners. The bully hates the teacher. The bully used a monster to vent his anger. The monster spilled a lot of blood. The blood caught the sun and caught fire. The next day, the school bully came to the office. He opened the teacher's glass of water. He added the monster's blood to the teacher's glass. Glass. The school bully had a smug grin on his face. The teacher drank from the glass in the office. On the basketball court, the female teacher covers her stomach in discomfort. The school bully observes from the second floor bleachers. The teacher rubbed her eyes with her hand. A bud appeared in her eye. The male teacher tried to help the female teacher to the infirmary. The school bully laughed from the second to floor bleachers. Suddenly there was a lot of blood coming out from underneath the teacher. The school bully came to her side. He led her out into the sun. The school bully laughed and stepped back. The teacher's body was on fire. Slowly, the teacher's whole body caught fire. The school bully was dancing around with excitement. He took out his cell phone and took pictures. The story was soon in the news. The news was seen by the little monster's sister. The little monster's sister tried to find her. She killed everyone on the bus. One of them was the girlfriend of the school bully. So the bully started planning to kill both monsters. They painted the blood of the little monster on the wall. The blood attracted the sister to the trap. But the boy who had been bullied before changed his mind. He didn't want to kill the monsters. He secretly sabotaged the trap. At night, the sister monsters found their place, but the boy locked the door. The bullies couldn't open the door. Sister monster killed the bullies, but the boy couldn't escape from the house. Sister monster tried to kill the boy. The boy suddenly opened the window that he had broken. The sun shines on the little monster. The monster screamed in agony. The monster's sister swooped down and blocked the sunlight. She used her hands to break the chains, but there were too many chains. She broke all her fingers. Finally, she touched the monster's face with her hand. Then she hugged the monster. In the end, both of them were burned to death by the sun. The boy went to school normally, but he was still bullied by his classmates at school. The boy added the monster's blood to the school soup. The boy took the fat girl's soup and poured it out. All the other students drank the soup. The boy drank the soup himself. In the end, all the students caught fire. The boy himself was burned to death by the sun. School bullying shouldn't exist in this world.